All right, good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of Engel Machinery and ACH Solutions, I'd like to thank everybody for attending today. Um, today we're going to talk about our LSR micro molding cell that we have here. Um, as everybody knows, LSR is a very versatile material. It's been made popular by its uh, mechanical properties and all of its benefits that it has. Um, as part of those benefits, it makes it very, very popular material for any medical applications, automotive, electrical applications, you name it, it's getting more popular and popular. And with its popularity, um, the industry has been pushing the limits on what we can do with LSR and LSR molding. Because of that, we saw a gap in the market that we needed to fill, and that was the ability to micro mold LSR parts and mold them efficiently. What we did then is we set out to have a collaboration with our tooling partner, ACH Solutions, to develop a micro injection molding cell. With that, we developed a micro injection unit using the Minimix dosing system, and then incorporated all of that in cooperation with the end of arm tooling and all of the automation. Um, as you can see here, uh, today the part we're making is a micro LSR tear duct plug. So this mold is a 32 cavity mold that we are making these parts out of. And these parts are used in the surgery of, of your eyes for the uh, uh, LASIK surgery. So what they do is they'll place it in your tear duct so that there's no uh, tears being produced while they're using the lasers and while they're working on the product. Um, when we set out to do this cell, we, de we decided that our best option for this cell would be our E-Motion 30-ton machine. This is a 50-30 TL machine. And what the TL stands for is this is a tie barless machine. So this uses our C-clamp design. The benefits of not having the tie bars on this machine is great because it gives you the flexibility to put as many different sized molds in one machine because we don't have to worry about tie bars getting in the road, you know, worried about automation concerns. It gives us the greatest flexibility or the customer the greatest flexibility for multiple tool sizes. Also with this machine, it's very, very versatile because we can change over from not only micro molding LSR, but we can put a standard screw and barrel on this and actually be able to make standard LSR parts or convert it to make thermoplastic parts. So whatever your company is doing or whatever you, your needs are for this machine, we can handle it with one machine in a tiny little package. The footprint on this machine is actually only six by 10 feet. So it'll fit in any uh, usable space you have within your molding floor. We all know that space is of a concern when we're talking molding, molding floor applications. Um, so this machine fits this operation very, very well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hand it over to Steve Broadbent from ACH, and he'll talk about all the components that they supplied from the dosing system all the way down to the automation. Thank you, Chad. I'd like to start um Again, I'm Steve Broadbent from ACH, and I'm gonna start at the beginning. So the most important thing is our material delivery. We have to deliver material to the injection unit. So we are using our ACH mini mix system. It's uh, pressurized canisters filling a vol two volumetric chambers, and then that material is displaced at a set pressure using a lifting cylinder to displace it to the injection unit. Uh, we have a set pressure and then that pressure is monitored and the actual pneumatic pressure that it is dispensed with is adjusted based off of the pressure transducers on the A and the B compound that are located at static mixer, just prior to the material entering the static mixer. Uh, one of the keys to this uh, is uh, the injection unit that ACH developed for Engel and to be integrated into their machine. And the, the key, it's a six millimeter plunger, but it is a one piece that is the nozzle, the shutoff valve, the shutoff nozzle, the metering, uh, the static mixer, all incorporated into one piece that fills this six millimeter plunger. Uh, 
We only are not, we're not only filling because it is a micro machine and we need to control. So it's simple to say, let's make a six millimeter plunger or let's make a four millimeter. But you have to have control and that's where the angle machine comes into. We control that position that we retract the, the plunger to, but we also are not relying on the pressure transducer on the back of the machine. We're relying, we have a pressure transducer into our integrated nozzle that's measuring the melt pressure of the LSR. This tells us, and then we can add that to the controller and say, we can't retract the plunger unless we have 35 bar. And then the plunger speed is adjusted to maintain the 35 bar. So not only do we refill to the exact position, but we also have the exact amount of pressure in the nozzle ready to be injected into the mold for the next shot. From the injection unit, move forward to the injection mold. So we're using a valve gated cold runner system. It's a four drop system to a sub runner with eight parts on each sub runner. In this mold, we have incorporated for the valve gates our servo shot system. So the servo shot allows us to or automatically adjust each valve opening position to balance the flow throughout the mold. This is done just with a simple interface of an iPad or an iPhone or any Android device. You can actually go in and adjust your valve pins. So the mold, like I said, it's a 32 cavity mold. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> as, the mold, as the mold opens, you'll see that we are, uh, have the runner. So the first thing that we do is we remove the sub runner. Then we go over to we remove the parts. The parts are removed using vacuum in the end of arm tool. So as the mold opens, the end of arm tool comes in, we lock onto the center plate, and now it's going against the ejector pins, and we're drawing vacuum to move up, pull all the parts into the end of arm tool. We're ensuring we have all the parts by monitoring the vacuum level in, on the robot through the robot program. If we don't achieve a certain level of vacuum, then the mold knows and the robot knows that we don't have all the parts and it can stop the process. From the demolding, we go to the back side of the machine where we do a visual inspection of the parts using a, a camera system. We're only inspecting for flash at a critical parting line, which is the part that is uh, inserted into your tear duct. From the inspection, we go to the part deposit. So these are all the components that ACH has provided and integrated into the Ingle machine and into their controller. <clears throat>